Hey parents, my name is Carter Spradling. I'm the head coach of the Northwest Guilford 8U football team. Uh, normally we would take uh, this opportunity to have a live uh, parent orientation before the season began. Um, obviously we aren't going to be able to do that due to social distancing rules and the fact that you guys can't come out on the practice field this year. Um, so I thought the best way was to uh, make a video to introduce myself and talk about expectations for the season. Uh, I am a 39-year-old father of two. Uh, this is my fifth year coaching youth football, uh, my second as head coach of the 8U football team. Um, with us this year, we have uh, Tim Clay, who many of you will remember as the head flag coach from last year, Mike DeHart, uh, whose son Aiden is playing on the team for the first year, um, Chris Hicks, whose son uh, Chance played on the flag team last year, and uh, Barry Newcomb, whose son Austin uh, will be in his third year on the 8U football team. Uh, just a quick note, practice will begin at 6.15 sharp on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at the um, practice fields where we had football camp at Oak Ridge Town Park. Now, um, that is, of course, subject to change like so many things right now. Um, plans are fluid. There is uh, scenarios where we may have to practice across the street behind the um, CrossFit uh, facility. Um, but if that happens, we'll give you as much notice as possible. Um, so again, please make sure uh, you're there ready to go by 6.15. Uh, realistically, that probably means showing up somewhere closer to 6 to make sure that all of your equipment is on and uh, everybody's where that they need to be. Um, part of that is making sure that your son drinks plenty of water during the day and brings lots and lots of water to practice more than you think that they need. Um, I'll obviously bring some extra just in case anybody runs out or forgets theirs, uh, but please send as much water, cold water as you can uh, with your child so that they don't run out. Along the same lines, uh, please make sure that they're not eating junk food in the afternoon, especially within the hour or two leading up to practice, and try not to feed them any uh, greasy or salty food right before practice. Um, wait till after practice for dinner if you can. Um, now, that being said, uh, this season is going to be very, very difficult. Um, this is not playing baseball or basketball at the YMCA or most rec leagues. Um, this will be very, very physically demanding of the kids uh, and intellectually challenging as well. Um, but I promise if they put everything that they can into it, uh, they'll come out of it learning a lot about teamwork and accountability. Um, and more importantly, being a good citizen and learning about giving 100% uh, and everything that they do, whether it's out on the football field or if it's uh, the schoolroom or if it's being a good brother or a good son, um, you know, I realize we're playing a big part in making sure that these are good young men. And that's certainly a um, priority of ours to teach that in addition to the X's and O's of football. Um, the last few years, we have had an older and more experienced team. And uh, because of that, we've gone through the championship game the last couple of seasons. Now, this year is a little bit different. Um, I don't want to say we have a young team because we have a lot of eight-year-olds and even nine-year-olds, but many of those, it's their first time playing football. So we do have an inexperienced team. Uh, that's a good thing and a bad thing. And the good part is um, there will be plenty of chances for people to earn plenty of playing time and responsibilities and I hope that everyone can be a contributor this season and uh, give everything they have and be happy with the role that they're playing. That being said, uh, we do have some openings for some big positions. And I've already heard, the season hasn't even started yet, I've already heard from about 12 kids or parents saying they want to be quarterback this year. Well, there's only one starting quarterback and lots of people that want to do it. So somebody's feelings are going to get hurt. And uh, I just want to make sure we temper expectations uh, that you could talk to your son about that if, um, if that's something that they think that they want to pursue. 
And I encourage everybody that has interest in doing that or any other job on the field to let the coaching staff know and we can properly evaluate them, but then trust us to make the right choice and realize that everybody's job is important and everybody has something that they need to do out on the field that's going to help us win. Um, you are always welcome uh, to call or email me if you have any questions or concerns. Um, if you'd like to speak with me in person, um, please do so at the equipment handout on Sunday evening, which is uh, at Oak Ridge Elementary School behind the baseball field is where our equipment sheds are. Um, or if you'd like to approach me after practice, uh, that's fine. Generally before practice, uh, I'm pretty busy getting things set up and making sure that uh, uh, we have everything that we need before practice starts. Um, so I might be available, but probably not for an in-depth discussion before practice. Anyway, I'm super excited that you guys are signed up with us. I think we're going to have an amazing season this year. Um, and uh, you guys let me know if you need anything from me. And uh, please know that we always have your son's best interest in heart. And we're going to do what we can to protect them, make sure that they're safe and having fun. Um, thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon.